American singer-songwriter Tanisha Kelly Soares had a difficult start in life. She grew up in poverty in New Bedford, Massachusetts, a city known for its high concentration of Portuguese Americans. Her mother was forced to raise her and her brother alone after her father was murdered when she was just nine months old. To cope with the loss, Tanisha's mother chose to self-medicate with substances while also being physically abusive. Naturally, the children, which would eventually total to four, were left to fend for themselves. Even as a small child, Tanisha knew a better life awaited her in the future. It just so happened that the vehicle to take her there would be music. In the midst of her mother's dysfunction, she was still able to introduce Tanisha to artists she enjoyed, such as Luther Vandross, Faith Evans, and Boys to Men. My mom used to play a lot of sad R&B songs and cry. That's when I saw the emotion in music. I realized that I could apply that to my life and it would help me. By the time she was 14, Tanisha would leave home and begin singing professionally after meeting Scotty G, former member of hip hop group Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. He agreed to assist her in her career and brought her out to Florida for approximately six months. Then it was time to head out to the place that everyone goes to make their entertainment dreams come true, Los Angeles. There, she would land a spot in a pop girl group called Girl Society with three other members. They only released one single and then quickly disbanded. After this experience, Tanisha knew being part of a group wasn't for her and put all her energy into making it as a solo artist. She recorded a few demos and shopped them around to various record labels before eventually signing with Warner Brothers Records. Before she was able to get things off the ground, Tanisha and her family would suffer a heartbreaking tragedy in December 2007. Her younger brother Tasman was fatally shot. He was 18 years old. Her first single called I Wish You Loved Me dropped in September 2007 through iTunes. It would go on to debut on Japan's Hot 100 chart at number 25. Her second single, Shattered, released a few months later, would be her first top 10 song, again in Japan. Naturally, with all the success she was having in the country with her singles, her debut album, titled The Chronicles of TK, would ultimately be released in Japan in early 2009 and become a commercial success. Also around this time, Tanisha decided to try her hand at acting and secured a small role in the 2009 American musical drama film, Fame. However, by the end of the year, Tanisha would announce that she was leaving Warner Brothers, and she didn't give a reason. Warner Japan, however, would still continue to distribute her work in the country. This major shift didn't slow Tanisha down one bit. By January the following year, she had another announcement work on her second album had begun. The first single from the album called Next Time was released in June 2010 in Europe. The album, titled The Fifth Element, followed two months later, however, was less successful than her debut. One of the singles from the album called Love Hurts would give Tanisha an amazing birthday gift. The track, featuring Japanese rapper Komachi, would debut at number one on her 25th birthday, July 28, 2010, and become her first number one single in Japan. The song was born from her experience being in an abusive relationship. The role she was on would continue with her follow-up US single, which would also go to number one, called The Right Way. More behind the scenes changes would come shortly after. Tanisha would get dropped from Warner Japan and also fire her longtime manager. It seemed that this was the perfect opportunity for her to take a break from music for a while. When 2013 rolled around, Tanisha decided this was the time to finally speak her truth. She revealed that her ex-manager, Terrell Bing, CEO of 872 Entertainment, allegedly controlled her entire career and she wasn't able to have a voice. He was the one who actually coerced her to leave Warner and then unbeknownst to her, sign a 360 deal with Warner Japan and his own company. This turn of events caused Tanisha to lose everything. Even though she had fired him back in 2010, she was still under contract 
and would not be able to sign another deal or release another album until she was released. She even went on a lengthy Twitter tirade to express her frustration. I'm self-made. No label or manager taught me anything I know. Put you and your lame ass team on the world map. You got the nerve to claim you developed me. And we won't get into where my money went. What's crazy is that I attained half a million plays on MySpace with no one's help. But I was developed. Laughing mad loud. I have to hang this up. After two years of silence in 2015, she made her comeback by releasing a couple of songs on YouTube. Initially, the tracks were to be included on an upcoming mixtape, but those plans were scrapped in favor of a full album. Within the next year, Tanisha would officially release a couple of singles, Inhale Exhale, her first in five years, and Romeo and Juliet, in anticipation of her new album, titled The Chronicles of TK, Part 2. A major business accomplishment happened for Tanisha in 2017. She debuted her first project, a new single called Sleeping Alone, on her very own indie label, Sanai Records. Presently, Tanisha continues to record and perform her music while sprinkling the occasional single out to the fans to test their reaction. Her latest work is a track called Writings on the Wall, released in 2020. She said, however, that she doesn't like throwing out single after single at all, even though that's the direction the music industry has gone. I think I think right now the industry is more singles. So and that's the problem. So yeah. This is where we make the flip. This is where we need. This is why I refuse. I'm not I'm, I'm not doing it. My album is not dropping until it is a body of work. I don't care. People can call me old fashioned. Oh, she's going to old. Oh, it's OK. You can feel how you want to. But history always repeats itself, one way or the other. So yeah. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you won't miss any future videos. See you next time.